coder, but not so much ukulele player. Yeah, okay, why don't you ready? Try? Let's go. Coding with Dad. I'm so glad I'm coding, coding with Dad. I'm so glad that I'm coding with Dad. Okay, all right, all right, let's, let's get out of business. That's let's that's get crazy. To the coding. Yes. Okay. Now this episode, uh, okay. well, you didn't even introduce yourself. Okay. So I'm Grace, and this is Dad. Dad, yes. And this is an episode of Coding with Dad. In in this episode, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about coding, more <laughs> specifically, a um, how to make an AI game. What's and, AI? Yeah, basically AI is um artificial intelligence, meaning basically a computer, and they can kind of learn based off of what they done so i'm just going to demonstrate what i made okay and so, then I'm gonna show so you... with, with ai just to get a more of a background it's the idea is that is that and this is a pretty simple version of ai they have really really complicated stuff out there but with in scratch you're you're going to have the computer the scratch um thing learn how to do something and so so that it can figure out how to do it right so what, what's what's your example okay so uh, my example is um here it goes. So. And this is under your theory underscore account? Yes. Okay. So, um, that's another one of my accounts. But say I move it here. It learns where the position is, and then it jumps over it. Oh, cool. And I can show you to prove that it's actually doing it if it... How about if I position it? No, I'll position for one kind. Okay. And, and then, then I get the position. Then you get the position. So then, again, it just... It senses it, and it says, oh, I need to go back to the beginning. And then it tries, okay, so I know there's a wall there. I'll jump this time. Ah, nice. So now, Dad, you can try. Let me do it. I want to do it. it. Okay, so let me just... In case you are... You just give a a few seconds to drag it. I'm going to move my... Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me just try this. I'm going to drag it. How do I drag it? Maybe you have to click on it. Uh, So move it there. I want to do it. You can still move it. I know. Go ahead. I'm going to move it way back here. Can you do it way back there? Yes. Okay, let's see. So, um... That's basically how it works, and in case you're like, nah, I don't believe it, you can right now go to, um, I'll put a link in the description, and hopefully I'll remember, but. <laughs> so as soon um, as it bumps into the wall, uh, it tries again, and it, it figures out where it must have had a, had a jump, right? Yeah, so then it's like, okay, so since last time it didn't work, I'm going to jump this time. Let's see if that works, now, and then it's going to jump into the wall. Well, will it be able to jump higher, like if I started... Am I asking for too much if I put it if I put it here a little bit I higher? I don't think it'll work. <laughs> let's see. Because it can't know. The, was it know how? Do, like, let's see if it jumps. Will it jump high enough? Huh? Did you? It, it did. Yay! Okay. <laughs> but Very you can't good. go any higher. Okay. Don't try it. All right. So, um, show us how this is done. So, now don't be alarmed when you see the code. It's reset seems really complex, but actually it's not so bad. Ooh! <laughs> so it goes down. Um, it's pretty big, but it's re- it's an actually. Pretty What's the basic concept. Con- What's the concept? So I'm doing a little more work than I need to, but I I I was going to make it eventually. I was before going to make it eventually do this really complex thing, but it, the concept is pretty simple. So um, first thing it does is it. Repeat. It sees if um, it sees if the now this is a more advanced code concept, and I'm not gonna uh, I don't I don't want. This to, is something you're still kind of working on. A little yes, bit, this right? is okay. a, uh, this is more of just a video to kind of like inspire you and more of the concept. I, I I don't really want anybody to try and copy all the code exactly. Pause the video and copy it all down because it might not work. Yeah. Because but feel free to go to this project and, re- and remix it. A right? lot of other sprites. Yeah, feel free to remix it. But I'd also like to see what you can do with this concept. Um, yeah, it's more the concept that we're trying to get yeah. across. So here. let's talk about the concept. So um, there's so basically it senses if there's a wall. So what's doing the sensing? Is, are we on the what sprite are we on? So we're on the oh side. oh on the on the one that's that's moving right yes. okay so basically all it does is it um so this part I actually made this a new, another color because I need something off the ground to sense it mm-hmm. so basically so this code is just saying if it's touching a wall and it won't be able to move or the position is um that's or it's, it's touching than red so basically if it's repeat until it's like. It either completed the task, if it 
is touching if it's stopped by a wall or if it's in lava. And then it just has a simple bit of code. Because right now you don't have lava, but you were like you were gonna put lava behind the um, or um, so well, it would know how to jump over the lava too. Yeah, if I replace this with a little bit of lava, mm -hmm. it would still jump. Yep. But I'm not sure if it would because I right. think that some of the code is missing because I left some of the That's okay. blocks out. But this is just kind of like a demo, as it says, which I'm probably never gonna work on the real thing. <laughs> but demo makes it is a nice way of saying, yeah, here's here's the incomplete version. Mm. Don't expect it. But to you want to share it because I'm but sure I other people are really think of really I cool things to do with this. Yeah. So anyway, if you're if you want to experiment with it, feel free and I'll check it out. Anyway, I better start talking about this concept more. So um, the gray and the black. They uh, so basically if it's, it's touching, the gray and the black on the on the block that's yeah, moving. Yeah, because right now we're on the block that's moving. So basically, that's moving if across. it's touching the wall, it wants to go back twenty and die. Okay, um. So basically, the concept of this is overall to find the wall, mark the position down, and then jump. Mm -hmm. When it and then when it go, when it repeats, jump. So it has a list, and here's the list right now. So once it hits the wall, it's going to um, put the position that it needs to jump at. So it just has it. it, 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 it will it back up a little bit before that position to figure yes, out? Yes. What yeah. it does is it is it has a code A, B, or C. Okay. And this is just to say, is it lava? Is it complete, or is it mm -hmm. is it um touching a wall? And then they have the position that it needs to jump at. So basically, how I did that was I said, I said if it's touching the wall, it's gonna go back. It's gonna take the X position that it's currently at, go back twenty. Because it needs to get a running start. Because if it's right against the wall, yeah, it then it'll just, then it will go through the wall and yep. it'll look kind of bad. Because technically, I could like. A, like, it, since it's not like a robot, it's like on the thing, it, it want, it's more of like looking like a platformer than actual, because it could just, it could solve it by just going to the end right. and skip over everything, right. but that defies the laws of physics. Right. We don't so want to do that. So we can't do that. I want to break the laws of physics get it in big trouble for that. Yeah, well, let's just... <laughs> so... Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, um... So, um, it just, then it goes back to the beginning... Mm -hmm. And it, where it goes to, so then it um it keeps on going until if it's, until it's um touching, until uh so basically it's saying, until it's until if it's code A, then um, repeat until it's at this position. Yep. And then. Is that position that minus sixty eight? Is that the is that the position minus this is the twenty? X. No, this yeah, that's the okay. So that yeah, that was where you calculated. You saying that next time through the loop, you should try to jump at this position. Yes. Okay. And then it jumps. It has a more block. Mm -hmm. And you should be familiar with this if you are. That's the code. Okay. But uh, you should be familiar with this when you, if you're watching this tutorial. Because when it's jumping, it's like a platformer jump. So it's it's yeah, jumping. It's just kind of. It's jumping a certain amount high, and it's and it's continuing to go a little bit in the extra. My code actually for this actually defies the laws of physics because it's. Not actual physics. It just kind right. of, it right. just kind of to display it. Right. But um. But you why, certainly could take this concept and add why, all the physics with it too. That's why it's a demo. <laughs> okay. Okay. So <laughs> then, it, once it um finishes, it just it broadcasts a message. So once it jumps out into the block, it broadcasts a message, and let's see if I can find it. I have horrible names for the messages, but I think then it just yeah. it, it just it that's basic. The, the, so the basic concept is. It waits until it touches either a blo either block or lava, or for our purposes, it's only going to be a touching a block. So it waits until it touches the block, okay, and then it adds it to a, and then it adds um, yep. it adds the code of what it is and the position that it's in. A means back. it was touching the block, right? Yes, and then a hundred means it goes, and yep. then that's and then just jumps over it. So that's how it works, and that's pretty cool. Now, do you think Grace that you should have better? Message needs better variables. Yes, I just kind of get lazy because I don't want. Because <laughs> it makes it harder to follow, right? Yeah. Because if you came back to this like you know a month from now, you would be hard. If you have better names, right? Some of the stuff I'm lo I look back at and I'm like, and I'm like, okay. Um, don't do what you do. I'm like, what happens? <laughs> uh, um, I think that if I'm not mistaken, I think that I'm supposed to. Then mm -hmm. I, I like look for the message and I'm like. 
message 60, where is that? Right. As I'm explaining it, I'm just like, <laughs> well, that's what it does. So <laughs> let's wrap up here. So in the future, <laughs> in the future, better, better names would help? Right, yeah, okay. Uh, so anyway, that's this is really that, good. That's just the basic um, concept. We'd and love to see what people do with this because this can, is a really interesting idea. You can always come to um, the the link, which is do a. That's, did you see it skip? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to do a fancy graphic thing with that. I stopped it. I was gonna like zoom in, but it was a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, we'll just put the link in the. So that's in why the notes. it skipped. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, don't try that. Yes. I was, I was trying to be too fancy with my with the editing software. Yeah. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you can do some stuff and feel free to comment. I will check it out. And let's get through the episode. I use the fancy editor. <laughs> so um, Rosa Scroll is somebody that that uh, commented on on one of your videos and. He's he's kind of an inspiration. He or yeah, she is an inspiration on uh, just what they what they've done is is just amazing, right? Yeah, um, I saw he did a or uh, he or she did a um, double click software uh, or something like that. I I can't find it, but he did a double click or he or she did a double click click thing, and I was like that. I, I was like, oh, that's cool, because I did a video on double click and I was their product. So I was like, what the heck? I'll say. Okay, here's my link to it. Yep. And he actually checked it out, and I was pretty amazed because you know it's a he's a really famous scratcher. Or, yeah, he has like over a thousand followers now. So, so which what he has a pretty cool one on there called the, the toilet paper simulator. Yes. And it's all done in pen, which is pretty impressive. Because yeah. pen, I I'm gonna do a um video on pen soon, but <clears throat> it's it's so hard, and I um. And this is really 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 cool, and he and yeah. this is just one one cool thing out of a lot of. A lot yeah. of projects. Yeah, we'll to showcase at least one of his stuff. Yeah, and we suggest everybody follow um, follow Rosa Squirrel because you'll see a lot of really interesting things. Yes. And then you're going to roll it. There you go. How do you roll it? How do you roll it? So that's going to finish. What happens at the end? We'll see. Maybe I'll be a winner. Let's see. If I can go up. Uh, I'm a winner. Uh, uh, no! <laughs> well, let's. Uh, should I we end off this? I'm a winner for a second. <laughs> should we end off okay. this episode? So anyway, comment your AI. Yes, and and show us anything you've done do with this. We'd we'd love to see it. Any questions or too? Any, any kind of any, even if you have a product that's a project that's totally unrelated. Yep, we always love to, to see it because I might even do it. I I might make you a sketch of the episode yep. or do a. Cool showcase on your yes. project. So this is Cody with Dad, and I'm Dad, and you're Grace. And I will until see next you time. Later. Bye bye. Bye.